The Osmo Pocket 3 just had a firmware update and one of the updates is actually really very useful, but I'll tell you what that is in a second. If you aren't aware of the firmware update and how you need to actually update the camera, you need to go into the Mimo app and then when you connect to the Osmo Pocket 3 in the Mimo app, then it'll come up with a little message which says new firmware. When you tap on that, it'll download the firmware. It'll tell you everything in the list that is new in that firmware update. And then, yeah, it'll download it. It'll apply all the changes. But there's also one thing that you need to be mindful of when you do apply the firmware update and I'll tell you about that in a sec. So you know when you're filming a video and you mess something up or you just don't want the clip anymore, you have to stop recording and then you go and find the clip in the gallery and then you go and delete it that way. It's a bit of a faff, but now all you have to do is, whilst you're still recording, press and hold the record button and then you'll get this little icon on the screen, this little dustbin, and it'll have a ring with like the red progression thing in it and keep holding that and then it'll just completely delete the clip so you don't have to go through into the menu and then try and find the clip and delete it that way it's so useful i can't tell you the amount of times that i've started recording something and then thought oh, i don't want it or i don't want it and i'll just go and delete it later on now you don't have to just clog up your sd card with loads of clips that you don't actually want that you know that you're never going to use awesome feature so the other update involves the joystick and when you use the camera in selfie mode and you use the joystick and you want to move the gimbal around left to right, before it used to kind of do it in inverted. So if you moved the joystick because you wanted the gimbal to point to the, well, my left, then it would actually go to the right. But now it moves, the joystick moves the gimbal in the direction that you actually push the joystick, which is really useful because then you don't have that whole weird inverted thing which if you're a gamer and you like to play inverted that probably didn't matter to you but for most people it was a little bit of an, anno an annoyance I think so I'm glad that that's been fixed and addressed now. Aside from some other minor bug fixes, the other major update comes down to the microphone and the wireless transmitter. The first thing is that the gain has been adjusted. So before, when you used to film, you'd always have to bring the gain up a little bit because it always sounded a little bit quieter. But now it's been adjusted so that it sounds a lot better. So you don't have to play around with the audio so much and try and bring the levels up. The other thing is that now, when you use the transmitter, the channels are set according to what the setting is in the camera so i think this is down to how it splits out the audio tracks and the fact that when you film with the transmitter and you're doing the whole video audio to video sync it will split the channels out like it does with the camera which is really good the only thing is when you've done this firmware update the settings that you had for your camera so if you had like the low cut filter switched off and then you had 32 bit float switched on and you had the audio to video sync switched on when you do the firmware update all those things are reset so you have to go back in and you have to change or put your settings back to how they were before so that's just something to be mindful of because when i was going out i realized that i had that 32 bit float wasn't on and i had the low cut filter on and i didn't want it on so it's just something to be mindful of just go in and check your settings but yeah they're the three major updates that i think there are some other ones in there and like i said the other little bug fixes but it's just something to be aware of if you don't already know about it